A lot of our understanding of cancer is, um, uh, has been diminished by the fact that we really don't know much about normal growth control. So we just kind of tend to see cancer as a thing onto itself when really if we understood the basics of what's going on in the tissue, we'd have a much better understanding of, uh, you know, of why cancers behave the way they do. You know, cancer is generally recognized as growth that's out of control but that doesn't really tell you very much unless you know what control is. So we're interested in understanding why tissues and organs grow to the size they grow to, why they stay at that size, why the two sides of your body have the same size, why your arms are the same length. Right? Those are old mysteries in biology that still haven't been solved. One of the things that our work opens up is the possibility that controlled growth is one of the drivers of certain kinds of morphogenesis. Essentially, that you turn growth on and off at different locations in space, and as a result, you generate a particular type of shape. We started off with the idea that there was feedback, right? That somehow, when a tissue grows to a certain size, it starts sending a feedback signal back to the cells that produce the cells of the tissue and tells them to slow down and eventually come to a stop. That idea had been out there for a long time, uh, but not a lot of attention had been paid to exactly how that feedback is implemented, what it's, what it's telling the cells to do. And in our case, we had the idea that what it's telling cells to do is not so much change the rate at which they divide, which, which is what most people had thought, but instead it tells cells to change what their offspring will become what type of cell the next cell will become. Um, and that turned out to be the key to sort of unlocking the mathematics of the situation and being able to build models that do the kinds of things that real tissues do.